Today I'll show you two ways to make a custom seamless pattern in Photoshop. Let's get to it. Hey guys, I'm Chris and I'm an illustrator and I love helping you make your creative projects easier. If you'd like to learn more tips and tricks and just up your design skills, I'd love to help you in any way I can. So hit that subscribe button and that bell for notifications so you don't miss out. All right, let's get to it and open Photoshop and get going on this first pattern. See you there. Okay guys, full disclosure, I am doing a voiceover because I did record this with audio and turns out I can't work and talk coherently all at the same time. Although it is yet to be seen whether I can do this coherently this way too. So anyways, let's get to it and start by going into Photoshop and going File, New. And I'm going to make a new document that is 4,000 pixels by 4,000 pixels, nice and big, and 300 dpi. I'm going to push OK. OK, and then I'm going to go into my Finder and grab some elements from my Snow Adorable pack here. I'm going to grab, let's see, what I'm going to grab. I'm going to get some trees and let's see, what else? Let's scroll down and some, and more leaves and some triangles. I'm just going to drag and drop into Photoshop. All right, now let's change the background color to a nice blue so we can actually see what's going on. It always helps. I'm just going to take this blue and make it a little bit darker. Perfect. All right. I'm just gonna drag these guys around to make an irregular pattern. And just tweak them a little bit, just by going Command T to scale them. And then I'm gonna take my lasso tool to get these little triangles here, but just want one of them to make I don't want that pattern always, so I'm going to select the triangles layer and go Control C and Control V to paste. So I have a new little triangle on its own layer, and I'm going to duplicate that by going Command J and moving it Command T to transform to just make it a little bit on a different rotation. Perfect. And then I can just use that guy and dot them around. Wherever need be, fill in the holes, fill in the gaps. Okay, I'm going to select all these and move them up to the left hand corner. Then Command J to duplicate and Command T to move over, which I really didn't need to do Command T, but I mean, habit. Just Command J to duplicate and I'm just going to move them around. And we'll just fast forward a little bit while I just place all these little guys around. I'm going to select everything I've put on the canvas here and move it up to the top left hand corner so that just the outer um, elements just touch the edge you can see they overlap the edge there then i'm going to take my selection tool and just select the very edge so anything that touched is that very edge at the top i'm just going to grab those and then do command j to duplicate command t to transform and at the very top you'll see that uh, in the Y axis, I'm going to take that duplicate and move it down by 4,000 because I know this canvas is 4,000 by 4,000, so I'm going to move it down that full 4,000 pixels. I'm going to do the same to the left hand side, select the very edge, and Command J, Command T to transform and move it over to the other side in the Y X axis this time, and that way it repeats perfectly because I know the dimensions and I realized there was a gap at the top there so I'm just going to place another little leaf 
and I'm going to command J and command T to transform in the Y axis. So I will move it down exactly 4,000 pixels. I'm just gonna fill in the holes. No big gaps. So now I'm going to take this one. I think I need one over there. So I'm going to take that and command J, duplicate command T on the X axis, 4000 pixels over. Okay, so now I'm going to take all my layers and just group them so it's not messy. And then I'm going to go edit and define a pattern. And you can name it whatever you want. And then I'm going to go layer, fill, new fill layer, pattern. Click OK. And then I'm going to scale it smaller so I can see if how this pattern has worked out. And this is just my test so I can see how it repeats and if it's repeating perfectly or if I've missed anything. And it looks like we've got everything just so so you can see it's a perfectly repeatable seamless pattern so this is one way to make a pattern and I'll show you another way in the next little section so of course you'll want to save this save it as a Photoshop file and save it as a JPEG as well so the JPEG is the finished pattern and it is a tileable seamless pattern that you can just repeat and repeat over and over. So the next one I'm going to show you, actually I'm going to do some stripes first and this isn't very new, but I always, I always found stripes to be a little bit confusing. I don't know why, it's because it's really actually simple <laughs> to, once you do it a couple times. Um, but here we go. What I'm going to do, this is going to be an irregular stripe. So it's, it's actually not something that I want to be a perfect line. I'm going to use this uh, Kyle Webster brush that comes in Photoshop and it's just like the speckly one. You can see I'm going to make it 800 pixels. It's the size of it. So I'm gonna go across here and I didn't like that. I wanted to go so it's full on either side. So first of all, I'm going to actually make this so that it does repeat perfectly because I want the edges to, to match up. And I'm gonna move it over on the X axis to zero. And then I'm gonna duplicate it, so Command J, and then I'm gonna move it over 4,000, just like I did before, because I wanna make sure that the edges match up perfectly, and they do, and because it's irregular, it actually wasn't too difficult. So if there were any gaps or anything that looked weird, I could fix it then with a clone brush or something like that, or the stamp tool. And so I'm gonna take this and now move it up to the zero, the Y axis there, and then I'm going to duplicate it and I'm going to move it down 800 pixels and that way I'm going to get it even stripe because it's 800 pixels and it divides nicely into 4,000. So I'm just doing multiples of eight, doing my times tables, trying to remember them. <laughs> it's not that hard. Anyways, it's all good. We've got down uh, one more to go and there it is at 4,000. And now we have a nice stripe pattern. So I can just merge these all together and that's Command E. And we're gonna define the pattern just to check to make sure it all worked out nice. Go to, not there, layer, new fill layer pattern. And yep, and I'm going to scale it down 
and that looks good to me. Awesome, okay, so that's the backdrop I want for this pattern. So that's not the new part I want to show you, it's this part. So I'm gonna go grab some elements from Snow Adorable again, and grab these cute little bears in hot chocolate cups, mugs, right? Okay, I'm gonna scale them, because this is too big. And I'm just gonna make sure that the mugs are the same size, so this top guy can scale up a little bit. There we go, getting better. Okay, so pop these guys in the middle and this is the part that's important. And then go filter, other, offset, and the settings are going to be half of the width of your, of your canvas. So we know it's 4,000, so it's gonna be 2,000 by 2,000 and it's going to be wrap around. And then this little guy can just stay right where he is and that's perfect. And so now you have all those four quadrants perfectly done. You know they're right and the way they're supposed to be. Now we're gonna go and grab um, some little snowflakes from the snow globe here. And this is just gonna add a little bit more texture. You're not gonna see them too much. It's gonna be a little bit more subtle, but I think it just adds, adds a little bit, bit more to this little project. Good. I'm going to take them and I'm going to group them and I'm going to duplicate the group and I'm going to take the original group and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to merge those and go filter other offset because I already have it set up. It does it perfectly anyways and that just scattered them about to the corners, touch the edges, and that repeats perfectly. And I'm gonna bring back the other ones and just move them around just a touch. And I'm not gonna do that because then I will have to repeat it. And I, we've already seen that lots. <laughs> All right, let's just move these guys around. And that looks good. So now we can go and just tidy those up, merge them together, edit, define pattern, say okay. And then go layer, and fill layer pattern, and test this out just to see how we did. So I'm gonna scale it down, and here we go. And so you can see how easily that this type of pattern is to create with the offset method. And it looks good. Perfect. I love that little bear. So cute. So that was two ways to make a seamless pattern in Photoshop. I hope you found it useful and you can use that in your next project. If you haven't already, hit subscribe. That really helps me out. And then you don't miss out on any of the upcoming videos. So I love you guys. I appreciate you so much and hope to see you in the next one.